hello everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me today we're going to take a look at k's and the wild mask a newly released retro inspired platformer that is supposed to be a lot like donkey kong country now that could be good that could be bad i have played donkey kong country a few years ago i don't have the nostalgia that some people have in it and i particularly did not enjoy donkey kong country now this is a modern retro game so hopefully they took some of the bad modernized it and it is became a better game so let's jump right in here and figure that out because i am really excited to see how this game is going to run i'm going to do original mode i really do like to check out the supposed way to play and so we're going to check this one out i don't really love a challenge but we will see because i like to see and i like to show off what the game was intended to be like so that's why i am choosing this one I like the art style already really really nice here kind of ominous in a weird sort of way with that little pink glow oh it's a ring interesting okay well that was not a good idea to touch the ring oh did the ring just steal that guy's soul that's not good and then it leaked out that was kind of weird i saw that go away oh whoa what, what is that So it stole the boy's soul and released an evil, probably the big bad evil guy. So the ring is some kind of soul capturing device, but it has to exchange a soul. So it took the boy's soul and released the evil soul. So what we're gonna have to do is save our friend by capturing the evil person's soul again is the way i'm looking at it right here but we'll have to see how this goes on let's see we got cranky carrots okay i'm that's not really what i wanted <laughs> is that going into the level i'm not sure okay there we go i was thinking that we we're gonna jump there okay we gotta jump it went a little air twirl here i'm not gonna spend the whole time in this episode comparing well not comparing but tearing down donkey kong country i was not very impressed with it and i do want to make some comparisons between the two games but i really don't want to just trash donkey kong country i'm liking this so far let's see if we can jump on these people we can jump on the peas i like the art style the scrolling in the background the why do i always forget that the phrase there Let's see if we get so we're getting crystals for some reason and the big crystals are worth a lot we have a little spin attack it looks like here i wonder if that can hurt these guys a spin attack so we got that's nice parallax scrolling that i like the parallax scrolling in the background nice she seems already to have a much better jump i don't know jump arc then i feel that was in the donkey kong country there we go we got the name kaz there or k's that's going to be a thing that was from donkey kong country that we're going to be picking up probably our name throughout the area to get a one-up i'm gonna assume i'm liking this already the jump her arc or something the way she is moving is much much better and i do enjoy that i do like the little air air spin this that wasn't a thing in the original don kong country but later was added i think with diddy kong if i recall correctly 
let's see what this is and that looks like a secret area a bonus stage collect all crystals now a thing that i was frustrated with Donkey Kong Country is that th the a lot of the secret stages were really secret you just kind of had to jump off into nothing a lot of times to find the secret stage you just gotta have to know where they were and almost jump off in every little direction and use a lot of lives there but i really like that that was almost obvious i feel that you had these platforms here and you were able to jump across and then that little symbol there it made it fairly obvious where at least that one was i also like how the oh is that a checkpoint i think that's probably a checkpoint i do also like how a lot of the crystals are arranged in a way so that it shows me where the platforms are we get a an arch here where the crystals are arranged in an arch to help you know where and how to jump i want to go down here first there's another bonus stage there we go we're hitting these pretty well so far defeat five enemies i will try my best we got carrots it looks like eggplants and radishes up there well this shouldn't be too hard i don't oh okay i cannot spin i do want to try again i cannot spin in the air that's what i tried to do so that's gonna i am gonna have to be on the ground make sure i'm touching the ground to be able to do that spin attack oh i can't get up there we're gonna have to jump oh can i ugh, that's yeah that's really close so let's see if we can make that spin hit that and then grab that little crystal at the back and the two together is going to give me the bonus i believe i like that little whatever is that my uh friend's soul kind of there following me i'm not really sure about oh there's something there's e it's definitely making it a lot more obvious where things are that would be my first biggest impression right now is that it the with the platforming the directions the platforms like here it really shows you where you need to be and where you need to go and that's kind of one of the things that was i felt was a little frustrating with donkey kong country looks like we cleared at that level we got the letters of cause we got the two green things and we got a hundred oh we got no damage tweet a hundred i don't know little crystals there as well the emerald we got two the two halves of the emerald crystal and then all of the i guess ruby crystal i got this is interesting here there is an album here so let's check out the album what is this about is this oh i like that it's a little picture here so it looks like we got a lot of pictures to go through just some kind of like probably concept art or something to that nature that is really nice we also got a menu which just gives us options and a difficulty and then return to title screen as well there's probably yeah just controls so we got a basic options menu and then we can go ahead and switch our difficulty there as well but let's jump into the jelly jungle here i also like these little mini pictures here for the stage one two jelly jungle okay we've got a little bit of bouncy bouncy things there okay i like that oh we got eggplants i'm wondering if there will be a spot in which an enemy will need to take more than one hit we haven't got that yet now can we i'm curious on something here can i lower the camera down by pushing down or up it doesn't look like i can move the camera now on some platforms you can stand on a platform and press down or up and what it will do oh i can't hit him okay that's going to be a good thing to know you can press up or down and what it will do is move the camera up or down a little bit so you can see what's above you or below you in the platforming which is very helpful but we did get a point of damage there oh that's something different i didn't mean to do that let's see if i is that a okay that is a down attack 
That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do the little The little air ear spin thing is what I really meant to do But we do have a like a down smash now. Did I get that K or do I have to re-get the K? It looks like we're gonna have to re-pick up the K That's an interesting Little maneuver here that we're gonna have to keep in memory here. I was hoping that we can just do the little air ear thing i think that's what i'm supposed to do to get over here press down and x to air smash oh and it looks like we're going to be able to get some things there some crystals oh gosh that was close why well, didn't you see that green spiky there guy that guy there that's wow okay i was when you're spinning you can't do your air propeller so we have to be really careful about how we hit these we're going to make sure that we hit them well in order to propel ourselves up high enough to get ooh, to get a level in which we can get over those jumps here in a minute i don't like hitting all these i don't think it really gives me any kind of bonus to any bonus to kill the enemies but we'll see oh there we go we got over that and that kind of looks like a secret there we go we found one secret there you could almost see it where it was but it was a pretty obvious secret in my opinion we've got to collect all these crystals in here we do have oh we got these bouncing i was gonna say man we have a really high jump here but it was just the crystals now we've got one side of that we're going to have to find the other side here in a little bit. Is there anything over here? Oh, okay, just all the way through. And we can have that. Oh, air ears. Okay, there is the A. <laughs> I did the down smash again. We're never going to make through this. I have a little bit of an issue with that sometimes. I feel that I hit the down when I really don't mean to. I don't know if it is just me hitting a little bit down on the d-pad and that's causing it to register as down we didn't even make that jump wow one jump that i've never had any trouble with we didn't make now so if it's i don't know if it's me just not hitting the left or the right button all the way and hitting a little bit on the down pad or there's something wrong with my controller it only happens every once in a while so it's probably all my fault yeah it doesn't give me any real bonus i don't see to hit or kill all the creatures now we will get past this level i do like this is a decent platformer so far i do see the connection to donkey kong country i don't see any of at least yet of the downsides of Donkey Kong Country. I felt that Donkey Kong Country had a really bad, what's the word, a bad arc? I don't know, even the arc, he just, I couldn't really get a good handle on the way he moves through the air and that always tripped me up. It looks like we've already got that. That does not seem to go away. So we've got to keep that in mind. We will keep those when the time comes. Let me see if we can propel her because these guys are are hurt, hurty, hurty people, hurty people. Here we go. I like those little peas in the pod though. That's pretty cool. Checkpoint. Is this an okay? I was wondering if that was another area right there. It kind of looked like the other one but we are doing well here it looks like i think oh gosh this is a little tense yeah that wasn't too bad as long as you were kept moving there oh oh wait okay we got he's going above us i thought he was going to go all the way around underneath of us so i kind of waited there for a second like this guy is one ow shoot okay we got hit there hopefully we can find something that is going to get us that back i want those crystals 
I did not get a hundred yet, but hopefully we can pull that off by the time we finish this out. Is that the other crystal? Wow. So far, it has been really nice kind of showing the way it has to be. This is interesting. A different way of doing it. They only appear at certain. Oh, nope, that was bad. Yeah, let's try one more time and see if we can get this because I don't think this should be too terribly difficult as long as I can not do that damn thing would be ah, that thing one more time. Let's do it. I know I could do this. I just I don't know if you would think the D pad would be a little bit more responsive. Why is it doing that? I don't want it to do that. I am working on an older controller. I wonder if the analog stick will be a little bit more forgiving in this. Let's see. I don't know because it could register a little bit of or it's supposed to register. There we go. Yeah. So considering that a analog stick has more angles at which it can register, I think it would be better to use the analog stick. Oh, there was something up there. Can I get up there? I don't know if I can make that, but we'll see if we can get back up there. Uh, maybe that is the way I need to go, but there was definitely something up there. Yeah, there's something over here, I believe. Yep, there's the E. I was right. So is the analog able to understand more than eight points? It will be a little bit more forgiving in getting to the down at so far at such a point in the D pad. If you're past that 45 or even into the 45 a little bit, it might interpret it as a down instead because it only has that next level. So it looks like we've got, yeah, the yellow, green, and red crystal there and those. And we got a crown on that one too. Now, I don't know if a crown is every, if you get the crown in each one. Oh, we have to look at the album again or something. Did we not collect enough stuff? What's this one look like? Oh, that's kind of cool too. We're getting, looks like we're getting a little bit of a story here of this person, this rabbit here with the staff is going to see that person. But it, can we go into, I can't go into that one. Why am I missing something? Okay, what is the, do I have to do more of this or pick something up I missed? I'm intrigued, intrigued with this. It's a time. I think it's a time attack here that we have to just finish it. There doesn't seem to be, oh, that makes me move a little bit faster. If I do that spin there, oops. I wonder if we have to go through each one twice to get the, oh, will I be able to, nope, I'm not gonna be able to make that, to get the time challenge as well. I'm not sure I like that, but let's see what we could do here. And that might be a little bit of, if I could change the difficulty there, that might be one of the things that will allow me to do that. There we go. We've got, we got a trial complete. We got a silver, but we did not get the, yeah, we didn't beat the 50 seconds there. Oh, the no damage. That's what the little crown means. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and continue. So we now have a time on this first level. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go to this one, the Jelly John, going get a time. It looks like I still can't go into this one for some reason. And I'm not sure why yet. I really don't like speed running through a level, but we can see what we can do here and see how so a minute 15 we might not get that here but we could also try oh that's cool so when i'm spinning it automatically pumps me up that's going to be useful to know 
Man, we gotta try that again. I gotta stay off that D-pad. So when I'm spinning here, when I hit, automatically if I'm spinning while I hit that, it's gonna shoot me in the air, which is nice. Okay. There we go. Just, just keep on trying to go through here as fast as we can. Bump, bump. There we go. Come on, we can do this. Oh, perfect timing there. Oh, I really didn't need that, but oh well. Ugh. I think this is timed in a way so that you can speed run it. It just feels that way at this point. And it's really well done, I gotta say, I think, that the items and the characters and where everything is seems to be in a really good place when you first get there in order to speed run it. I don't really want to slam on those. I just want to get through this area as best I can. Oh, nope, nope, okay. I was gonna say I shouldn't have hit that. Let's see if we can get up here as quickly as possible. We are not going, oh, did we make it? Oh, we made it just with three seconds under. We got the gold there, sweet. I like it when I do well, but when I fail miserably, I hate it. I'm a very, Fair weather time runner, I guess. Okay, but we still don't have. We can't go. Oh, so I. What is this then? I'm confused. Maybe this is a bonus level or jumps you into a new area. We got one. That's what I missed. I may not have to do the time trials, is what it looks like. So we got one green thing here, one green thing here. I need six here, so there's three. I think that might be a opening into the next world or something. I'm not sure about that, but let's try the authority tree and see what we got here. I like that I could run in there. There we go. Let's get some of those crystals as soon as we can to keep up our crystal stuff. Yeah, that's nothing. I was thinking that that might be something there. Looks like we got a tomato with a fire cannon. That's awesome. Okay, there is something back this way, I believe. Okay. We so far have been able to find everything, which is awesome. I really like that. Ooh, what's this? Do I get a... Oh, wow. That's awesome. So what do I got now? I got a little shot. Okay, so this is, yeah, very much like Donkey Kong Country in that it's giving me a flying ability now and then a shot press x to attack yeah some kind of arced shot like that is in some of the other levels but again i feel that her flight pattern just seems so much better than it was in donkey kong country and i know that a lot has came along since then so that's probably the big cause there oh okay i hit the spikes up there that was the problem is there something this way yep i hope i got both of them we'll have to just wait and see okay so we've got to collect the crystals it looks like doesn't look like it'll be too hard here but we only have so much time now does our shot do any collecting it does not look like our shot did any collection I collected a lot of those right there in a nice, well done sweep, I think. We got a few seconds left. Can we make it? We did. Awesome. I, I wonder on that, if I find the second half of that crystal, will it be put on the right instead? That's gonna be an interesting thing to see if we miss the first one and we find the second one, are we going to get, that was close. Are we going to get, the second part okay so the little guy with me the spirit is my extra hit so it is so we do look like we get only two damages him one with him there and one with him not there i guess kind of what we're doing these hearts refill that hey i i'm gonna go up to see if the other crystal is up there there we go yeah they're very obvious defeat nine enemies am i still in the 
bird form. Okay, let's just, oh, the timing is bad. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot harder, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot harder here. There we go, we got one. That's not good, but maybe we could be a little bit closer to him. Oh, we got time or the delay there in our shot. We've got to be careful about. I wonder if I could just sit off to one side and just shoot a bunch and see if we can get lucky and hit something. There we go. It's the arch here that's really kind of making it hard to hit these guys. Oh, we got to be careful because they come down on our heads. Hey, let's see if we can get this done here. We almost have to shoot or start shooting when they are, ah, shoot, right there, right right in front of us or something. Here we go, we got, s not six, we didn't get six, we got like three. <laughs> uh, almost got that one, there we go. I get any, ah, uh, this is gonna be really hard one to finish. We're gonna have to be a lot more aggressive on this in being able to get this one done. Let's try it one more time. Get that one in these first two is going to be very helpful if I can get like these first three here it's going to be much before they start coming down a lot it's going to be a lot more helpful there's four ah, shoot. I'm under I'm not gonna get this there we go get it just get it oh yes I had like two seconds left but we were able to get that awesome Woo, okay, let's head on out and see. We oh, okay, I thought they were coming right at me, so we're gonna have to pop up over here. And the drop, she has a little bit of a delay in her drop, which is something we gotta be careful with. But I think, let's wait and shoot another one. Oh, I'm just gonna peek up under here and get it. That's one way to do it. Just avoid it. That's one way. I got my E here. Kinda drop quickly, hopefully. Come on. Spikes, he's this. Oh gosh. Let's get out of there. That's gonna make it a little bit easier to get through that, but I don't know. Can I get out of there? There we go. These tomatoes here are a pain. There we go. We got him. Got him. We just kinda gotta peek up just barely enough to, because there is a delay not only in the shot but the there we go aha we got it sweet not only the shot but you got that little arch and a little delay and when you drop that all kind of works against you when you're doing that that's going to be our first episode i believe i'm liking this we're going to check out a little bit more of this we've got four of the six crystals now it looks like or three of the six crystals so it's going to push us further down and we just got to keep climbing and getting the other crystals there so that's going to be our first episode we're going to check out a little bit more of this because i am intrigued with what they're doing here i like it i think they've definitely modernized a lot of the mechanics that was in Donkey kong country and made them a lot better so we're going to check it out some more in the next episode thank you so much for watching and i will see you all later bye everybody